Hi, my name is Presley Smith, and today we're going to be talking about fostering a growth mindset in the classroom. In the first page, I really dive deep into explaining what a growth mindset is and how it is different from a fixed mindset. So a growth mindset is being able to learn through failure, whereas a fixed mindset is the inability to learn through failure, and rather you think that the way you think and grow is absolutely innate and has nothing to do with your surrounding environment. We all know as educators that is absolutely not true and it is very important to fix that mindset as early as possible. In the second page, I talk about why it is important to change that mindset. Not only does it help in the classroom, it helps with our futures and our careers as well. It helps with outside relationships in the classroom, it helps with self-actualization, and it helps with learning in the future. There are many ways to establish a growth mindset in the classroom, and it is very important for educators to start that process as early as possible. But it does not happen overnight as well, because most of these students come to you with years of a fixed mindset, where their families and friends all have a fixed mindset. So it's very important to work slowly and gradually with the student. The first week should really be dedicated to talking about how strong your brain is, uh, what the difference between a growth and fixed mindset is, and how to work past failures. Then after that, it's really important to model what a growth mindset looks like. Talk about when you make a failure and how you tend to grow from that and then show your progress and growth from that moment. It's really important to normalize failure in the classroom. And then sooner rather than later, the students will start to catch on that it's okay to fail, that it is absolutely normal to encounter failures in life, and they will start to gradually grow into a growth mindset. However, when you see your student maybe start to fall back, it's important to guide them back to the right direction.